Now, states face critical budget shortfalls, at least $83 billion for the year 2011, that fiscal year. That's according to the National Conference of State Legislatures. Now the states, they're cutting spending and adding new taxes in order to narrow those gaps. So how will all this affect municipal bond markets? My guest is George Strickland. He's a fund manager at Thornburg Investment Management. George Strickland manages about $6 billion in muni bond investments. George, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. It's good to be here, Pam. Give us a little bit of an update, because it seems as though people might have forgotten that sales taxes, they're going up in many states, and they're actually replenishing those state coffers. Yes, yeah, sales taxes, uh, depending on the state, some states are extremely heavily dependent on sales taxes, such as uh, Florida and Texas, where they don't have income taxes. Sales taxes are going up five to six percent a year, and uh, actually in Florida, they're going up double digits right now. So um, that's a good thing. Florida just uh, lowered their estimate of their 2012 deficit from five and a half billion to two and a half billion. I think that's pretty big news. So does this mean that a lot of states that look like they were in big trouble, they're going to get off a little bit easier because of the increase in state sales tax revenue? I think it's going to help some states quite a bit. Um, but unfortunately, there are a number of states that are much more dependent on income tax revenues. And of course, the economy is very different from one state to another. So uh, it doesn't mean that it, you know the rising tide is going to float all boats, but there are a few boats that are starting to pop up. So let's talk about California, for example, George Strickland. What about the state of California's finances? Well, uh, California is facing about a 19 billion dollar deficit, which um, you know all the headlines tell you they can't come to an agreement. The Democratic legislature and and uh, Governor Schwarzenegger on how to balance that. Uh, but furthermore, they've got this sort of structural deficit going on that they're consistently spending 5 to 10 percent more than they're taking in. And income tax revenues, upon which a lot of their revenue system is built upon, aren't coming back anytime soon, as far as I can see. So we're still pretty cautious on the California credit. George Strickland, many investors in municipal bonds, they're always looking for that tax-exempt income. Should they be looking outside of their home states in order to reap those rewards? Uh, yeah, I think so. We've, we've said that for a long time, that um, you, know, you need to diversify not just for safety, but you need to diversify also because often you can get better deals better yields outside of your own state. So particularly if you live in a state like Maryland or a state like Vermont, uh, where you have relatively high taxes and very few supply of bonds. So um, diversification, I think, more important than ever. And, and uh, people should con continue to do that. George Strickland, what's the health of the Puerto Rican uh, finance uh, industry right now when you take a look at finances? Because many investors have looked to Puerto Rico because you don't pay federal tax there. Uh, yeah, and, and so um, there are very popular bonds, particularly within single state uh, municipal bond portfolios. Um, but uh, Puerto Rico's in quite a bind. They've been in a recession for the last five years, maybe six years at this point. Um, their public pensions, their largest public pension fund, is funded only 9% of what it's supposed to be funded. You know, we think of Illinois as being a, a difficult situation, being 50% funded. Imagine being only 9% funded. So. Uh, Puerto Rico is a place that I'm not quite sure how things are going to work out over the next few years, but it looks like they're in a very tough bind. George Strickland, what about bond yields? I know that they're different for each state, but are you seeing them actually getting paid, investors getting paid for the risk that they're taking? Well, um, I think not universally, I'd say, but, uh, but I think if you invest wisely and you invest carefully, you can get paid pretty well for owning municipal bonds. What I mean by that is the yield curve right now is extremely steep. So if you're staying in one to five year bonds, you're not getting paid very much. You're lucky to get 1%. 
But if you go out to 10, 15, or even 20 years, <clears throat> as Thornburg does with our intermediate fund and our strategic fund, then you're getting paid about four times as three or four okay. times as much. Third amount of credit risk and go into an A-rated revenue bond, often you can get an, uh, an additional one to one and a half percent of yield. So that's kind of what I'm recommending for people to do these days. All right, I want to thank you very much. George Strickland coming to us from the Thornburg Investment Management, sharing some thoughts on the municipal bond market.